what it is to be indian israeli unique amazing rare exhausting wonderful out of place is what i feel as an indian israeli so today i'm going to be talking about the culture that i belong to being indian jewish and now that i'm in israel so i'm like indian israeli now i'm going to time stamp everything so you can just like fast forward to um topics that interests you the most time for introductions so my name is ravital moses i was born and brought up in india as you can tell my name is not like the typical indian names aishwarya priyanka akanksha siddhi they're all beautiful names but i don't have an indian name it's because i'm an indian jew so i grew up in india basically most of my life I've been in India. My school, my college, university, masters, everything was in India. And until like three years ago, I moved to Israel. Before moving to India, I did have a lot of uncles and aunties who moved to Israel like years ago when I was a baby. As a matter of fact, I visited Israel when in 2016. on a program called the birthright trip it's the tagleet birthright trip where jews from all around the world get an opportunity to visit israel for 10 days it was a very exciting trip but i promised myself that i would never ever ever move to this country well you know what they say never say never that's a story for another time talking about friends and upbringing i had a very different upbringing compared to my non jewish friends well most of my friends are hindu so i grew up learning about both cultures the indian culture and the jewish culture you know what i mean so i would learn about the hindu culture at school from my friends through festivals through stories my friends would tell me of all these amazing gods and in house i had a jewish upbringing so we would go to the synagogue on festivals every friday we would have a shabbat dinner so most sundays i would attend a fun jewish school where i would learn about my religion the songs that we sing the prayers that we uh, pray we also had a couple of american jewish volunteers that came down to india to mingle and educate the indian jewish community so i also had that part that was going on okay for the first time ever i'm going to say this on camera but i struggled big time to make friends as a child it's hard to tell right now because i'm a very outgoing personality i do make friends very easily but when i grew up i struggled a lot i think i have my reasons i think number one is like as children you try and connect with people from the same religion i guess i don't know it was very different now it's very different i think millennials after they grew up and gen z they're very open to having friends from different cultural backgrounds but i think before that is always like oh you know stick to friends from your religion because you have a, a common cultural aspect and a common background and things to discuss about i always felt like i had to educate everybody and anybody who wanted to be friends with me and just they just wouldn't understand also back then because internet and social media wasn't a big thing people weren't aware that there is a jewish community in india so they're like what do you mean you're jewish like is that a religion are you christian or catholic or parsi and i'm like i'm none of that i am jewish also in school like you usually get to know about world history but we didn't have so much of world history in our textbooks i think it was more about indian history than world history um so people didn't even know about world war 2 or like what happened or what went down um you know with regards to holocaust and stuff like that but eventually when israel started to make a mark on the world globally people started to recognize jews from israel so i think eventually people were like oh you're from israel i'm like no i'm not from israel i am born indian so i'm from india yes i'm jewish but i'm not israeli This was so interesting. Very often most of my friends said to me that I was their first Jewish friend. That was exciting because I was like, "Oh my gosh, like I'm the only one in your life." And and I would joke about this and I would tell them, "For the longest time, I will probably be the only Jewish friend in your life." Because come on, who are we kidding? Out of the 4000 Jews in India compared to the 1.3 billion population, what are the odds i mean back then the population was more 
Now it's come down to four thousand. The back then, when I was like a child, it was around eight thousand to ten thousand Jews. Now it's come down to four thousand. So trust me, if you have a Jewish friend, Indian Jewish friend, keep them. They're very cool. My life in Israel. I have so much to say about this. I just don't know where to begin. Okay. So for anybody and everybody who wants to know how I got from India to Israel, it's because Israel welcomes Jews from all around the world to come and settle down. and be a part of this country have the citizenship and contribute to the community and stuff like that so because i'm jewish i had the opportunity to come to this country and uh, become an israeli i thought it was going to get easier because you know israel is the country with the biggest jewish population but seems like it wasn't the case let me explain so you will find a lot of jews from america and europe in this country there are Indian Jews but apparently a lot of immigrants from other countries I'm not talking about I'm not talking about Israelis who live here for a couple of years now but immigrants who have made aliyah or like immigrated from other countries in the recent years do not know that there is a Jewish community not one there are more than 3 Jewish communities in India if you didn't know about that but people just don't know that there is a tiny jewish community in india and the explaining and the educating continues this is one reason i'm creating this videos next time somebody asks me about my history and my roots i'm going to be sending this video to them i also speak four languages that's insane for a person who struggles with learning languages i know four languages that's a pat on the back girl so i know hindi marathi English and Hebrew. Hebrew is very basic because I'm still learning, but I can go to a cafe and order a cappuccino and croissant and just chill there with my shades and have a good time. For somebody who struggles with languages, I mean, I had Sanskrit. I learned Sanskrit for three years and Spanish for two years. I remember nothing, so it's like a big deal. So yeah, I can speak four languages. <sighs> wow, it's just. so chat it's been challenging for me as i grew older i mean it got easier as well as challenging at the same time i i don't know how to explain this i just feel like i don't belong anywhere you know what i mean like yes i'm indian but i'm also israeli so so sometimes i come across as somebody like my indian friends tell me you're too israeli right now and then my israeli friends are like you're too indian but but that's where i come from i come from both cultures and it's like an amalgamation of the two and i feel like people are not used to seeing that which is okay cuz i am a unique personality but it's exhausting cuz it's i have been educating all my friends about you know things and sometimes i feel like i want people to understand where i come from um this is one aim in my life that hopefully my youtube channel will help understand the the story of my community can you believe it's just been 3 years i've been living in israel and then i also met my indian friends when i was visiting india and they're like oh my gosh we see such a huge difference in your personality ab to tu firang ban gayi hai what is this accent bro and uh, you know you drink a bottle of bisleri like what is wrong with you and they also make fun of my accent i mean isn't it obvious the people you spend most time with you try you tend to pick up the way they speak and how they speak and the gestures so obviously because i work with an international crowd i have picked an accent and now all my desi friends make fun of me That's insane. But I'm still desi to the core. I mean, I love Bollywood songs and I get dramatic um while watching movies and I cry and I miss Indian food. Yes, I I can't eat spicy. I mean, I was never a spicy food eater, but now it's become less. So, but I still love everything about India. I mean, it's very close to me. Also in Israel, I don't think they understand where I grew up. and why react a certain way i have a reason for that i intend to make a video on this but i shortly want to explain why so in india we grew up watching a lot of movies from the west and we did have like disney channel so we had an idea of what their life looks like i know it's not the ideal american life or like the the english life but we had an idea right but they have no clue because the only two movies they've seen are slumdog millionaire 
and some movie i i don't remember the second movie i don't know but but yeah they connect india to slum dog millionaire and this is this is how they think we live and as much as i want to be mad about it i can't because again it's a part of educating them but i feel like for some time i don't want to be explaining things and just want them to understand where i come from and like when we joke about things some references i want them to get it i just feel like they don't because when they talk about friends and the lion king and barbie i understand everything even the inside jokes and the spoilers but when we talk about ddlj and brahmastra they know nothing it's annoying that's one reason why i also started reacting to videos like indian songs and indian film trailers is uh, in the hope that um, my non indian friends would understand um, some aspect of the cultural background we come from i believe the best part of being multicultural is that unlike my indian friends and my non indian friends i had perspectives from both cultures so i feel like i'm i'm a little more i won't say broad minded but i have a spectrum of emotions that i feel i don't think like this i think like this because i've experienced one culture and then i've experienced another culture and i know what cultures go through so i feel like i have that oh because i'm unique i do take this as an advantage because when i'm trying to make friends or talking to new people or like trying to make professional connections being indian jewish is so rare that they want to know more about it so it's basically like an ice breaker for me that's how they get to know more about me because sometimes you know when you know somebody from the same country you don't know what to talk about compared to somebody who belongs from another country from another culture and like oh my gosh it's something that i have always wanted to know and it's cool to have somebody who is uh, indian and jewish it also happens that i don't know if you guys know but israel has a mandatory army service for anybody who turns 18 up to the age of 24 25 and mostly after the army service they either go to um south america or they come to india most israelis do come to india cuz hello india is such a vibe so israelis israelis who are born here they know about the indian culture because they you know go up north or like go to goa or go down south so they have an idea so it's not completely alien to them but they definitely didn't have an idea like most of them some of them do because of social media and all of that and people are like really curious to know about um various jewish communities around the world but most of them don't so yeah that's cool i think i'm in a phase where i am exploring my identity as um a young adult i'm in my late 20s and i i want to know where i fit in sometimes i know you don't have to um fit in a very cookie cutter way but you need to have your identity be it unique be it common like i am in that exploration phase and i feel like i struggle a lot with knowing whether i am indian like way to indian way to israeli like a mix of both because i have my days when i'm like very desi and then i have my days where i have my israeli khutspa on and i just feel like i don't know like where do i fit in sometimes i even envy my friends who do not have a mixed culture because it's so simple for them you know it's like uncomplicated when you when when you don't have an additional element because when you just have one thing you know what's in store for you and i feel like it doesn't confuse you as compared to uh when you have when you're like multicultural but i think it's just like it's a process like i embrace it i really appreciate where i come from i know i have a very uh unique background i appreciate that i'm grateful but there are days when i struggle it's a process i know i will get there if you're one of them i mean if you're in the same boat as me please go down in the comment section and tell me if there is a way to um getting to a point or to an answer where you're going to be okay with being yourself so if you're someone who comes from a mixed culture i want to say you guys are awesome cuz we are unique amazing rare and our friends are lucky to have us at the end of the day you don't need other people to celebrate you but yourself don't forget to tag your friends in the comment section or share this with anybody who is wanting to share their culture and would love to share it with me subscribe to my channel for more informative and entertaining videos on indian and israeli culture i will see you next time